we hypothesized that uh, in this disease, uh, uh, adeno-associated virus uh, mediated gene therapy could transduce uh, uh, liver cells, the hepatocytes, uh, and restore UGT1A1 activity in the liver so that bilirubin could be conjugated and excreted into bile, um, you know, taking the patient to a safe situation um, to uh, reduce levels of bilirubin that, uh, that are therefore not uh, uh, threatening for the uh, risk of kernicterus. Therefore, we developed GNT3003, uh, which is uh, uh, an adeno-associated virus 8 vector, including uh, a cassette uh, that carries the UGT1A1 gene. And uh, we started the trial, which is sponsored by Geneton and supported by the European Union under the Horizon 2020 uh, program. In this trial, we, uh, we uh, treated five patients with two different doses of this vector. And the idea was to test, first of all, efficacy, sorry, first of all, safety, because this is a phase one, two trial, and then efficacy at two different doses. This trial is called CARE-CN. And uh, so far, we have uh, concluded the escalation phase of the trial, meaning the dose finding part. In phase one trials, uh, and we usually start with a lower dose of the treatment, and then we go up to find the, the dose that which is the best ratio between risks and benefits. Therefore, we tried two we tried we treated two patients uh, with uh, GNT triple O three at the lower dose, and these patients had uh, only temporarily. Uh, benefit with a decrease of bilirubin, which was uh, quite deep, but uh, only, uh, you know, short lasting. Uh, therefore, we went up to, uh, to a higher dose and we treated three patients. And these are three patients treated under my care in Bergamo at the hospital Papa Giovanni in Bergamo. These patients luckily responded very well uh, and, uh, and they actually lost jaundice, they really became pale because bilirubin went down to nearly normal levels. This treatment uh, uh, has been done now a year ago in the first patient and some six months back uh, in the other two patients. And so far, uh, the efficacy is maintained to a level allowing uh, stopping phototherapy. Th these three patients Stop phototherapy after four months. Bilirubin did not go up. They maintain low levels of bilirubin, and they are still off the uh, phototherapy. Therefore, you can you can imagine the benefit in terms of quality of life, hope for the future, hope uh, that a transplant will not need it anymore. Mm -hmm.